Henry! So soon! I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Now you're just trying to impress me. But I know, I know. You have questions. You always do. The only important question is this. Who are we, Henry? I thought I knew who I was. But the success starved me. Nothing left but lines on a page. In the end, we followed two different roads of our own making. You, a lovely family. Me, a crooked empire. And my road burned. I let our creations become my life. The truth is, you were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. You should have pushed a little harder. <sighs> Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. That's how I got started. Just a pencil and a dream. We all want everything without even having to lift a finger. They say you just have to believe. Belief can make you succeed. Belief can make you rich. Belief can make you powerful. Why, with enough belief, you can even cheat death itself. Now, that is a beautiful and positively silly thought. I believe there's something special in all of us. With true inner strength, you can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop it right there. I can only do so many takes of this trash a day. And tell the guys in writing, I want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep railing on that, dead. Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slop. Hmm, what? It's still on. Well, turn it off, damn it. A small memo to all administration offices. Rumors have begun to fly that we simply can't tolerate any longer. The idea that the company is in some form of financial difficulty is untrue. And the slanders lie against us. It's also been known to me that some backroom incompetents are not trusting in my leadership. As a leader, I'm always steering the boat, guiding our destiny, looking at the big picture. No need for you people to worry about such complicated things. Just do whatever it is you do and trust your leader, which is me. Listen, Tommy, I know you boys over at Jen are doing your best, but I'm paying for living attractions, not weird abominations. Whatever that great thing was I saw wandering around your office, you better keep it locked up tight. I realize it was a first attempt, but imagine if the press caught sight of it. Might scare off investors. And in response to your previous memo, if you claim that your failures are because these things are soulless, then damn it, we'll give them a soul. After all, I own thousands of them. I know how much this part means to you, Susie. Alice means a lot to me, too. Gosh, all of my characters do. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. I, too, really believe my characters are more than just drawings. They're alive. They're part of us. And I want people to know them as well as I do. I want people to be able to shake their hand, spend an afternoon with them, love them. Susie, I'll be straight with you. I'm putting together a small project, a little ceremony, if you will. If it works, a lot of dreams will come true. And I want you to be a part of it. 
I want you to bring Alice to life once again. What do you say? It's simply awe-inspiring what one can accomplish with their own hands. A lump of clay can turn to me if you strangle it with enough enthusiasm. Look what we've built. We created life itself, Henry. Not just on a silver screen, but in the hearts of those we entertain with our fancy moving pictures. But when the tickets stopped selling, when the next big thing came along, only the monsters remained. Shadows of the past. But you can save them, Henry. You can peel it all away. You see, there's only one thing Bindi has never known. He was there for his beginning. But he's never seen the end.